A lope is a three beat gait. One hind foot will push off, the opposite hind foot and a diagonal front foot will hit together, and then a single front fit foot front foot hits last, okay? In a left lead, a horse has two leads, either left or right. So in a left lead, <clears throat> your horse will turn much easier in a circle to the left or a spin to the left or turning a barrel to the left. So you want him in the left lead if you're gonna turn left. In a left lead, the horse will push off with his right hind leg. That's beat number one. Left rear and right front will hit at the same time. That's beat number two. Left front hits last, that's beat number three. So it's beat one, beat two, beat three in the left lead. Now, do horses lope straight ahead or do they lope at an angle? If you watch a dog run, <clears throat> lope off, you'll see dogs just go ah, catty corner to cross the pasture or cross your yard, don't you? Horses actually lope at an angle. They do not lope really straight ahead. To keep in balance, the single legs line up in the direction of travel. So if this hind leg pushes off, these two legs are together, this leg is last, right rear and left front line up in the direction of travel, okay? So if my horse is headed off this way, this right hind and left front leg line up in the direction that I'm traveling. So even though he's headed over here, he would lope straight toward the camera, <clears throat> okay? Now in a right lead, it's just the opposite. So I would move my horse over this way a little ways. <clears throat> in a right lead, the horse pushes off with the opposite hind leg. So he pushes off with the left rear first, beat one. Right rear and left front are beat two. Right front is beat three. So it's push, two legs together, final front. <clears throat> so in a right lead, left rear and right front line up in the direction of travel. So my horse is headed off over here, but this leg and this leg line up in the direction that he's gonna go. So even though he's headed over here, he's gonna go here in the, lane, in the line that these two legs line up, okay? So to get a horse naturally to take a lead, <clears throat> what do we have to do? We have to angle his body one way or the other. That's where the controlling the rear end comes in, okay? So if we can't control his rear end, our chances of getting the correct lead are pretty slim. So we've got to be able to move his rear end from side to side. So that's why we do all this stuff of using our leg, using our leg, move his hip around, use your leg, move his hip around, move his hip around. And if you can move his hip around, your chances of taking the correct lead <clears throat> are pretty darn good. So let's take this horse here and I'm gonna use my right leg and I'm gonna put it against his hip and I'm gonna kinda of push his hip to the left and I'm gonna hopefully get the, get the left lead. <clears throat> now you can see the right hind leg is pushing off, left hind and right front are hitting together, left front leg is hitting last. Okay. He's getting a little, little fresh, so I lope him in circles. If he will drop his head and relax, I would let him go in a straight line. But if he wants to go fast with his head up in the air, pretty fresh, isn't he? Okay, you can still see how he's reverting back to arguing against pressure from my right leg. That was his reaction today when I first got on him. So he has. A but I'm holding my right leg against him. I'm holding his hip to the left and we're loping in the left lead. There, he's starting to relax a little bit, so he's gonna drop his head. If he lopes around in a circle, that's hard work. So that will slow him down. Yeah, too much, didn't it? Now to slow him down, keep driving him, keep pushing him, take him in a circle until he learns to submit. And when he submits, he'll drop his head, drop his neck, and lope slower. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And that's the left lead. His hip is to the left, 
His shoulders are to the right. We don't much really care where his head is when we ask him. We have to get the angle of his body correct between his shoulders and his hip. So for the left lead, the hip must be to the left. Okay, sit down on his back, kind of run him into the bit. He says, uh, bumped into that. I guess I better back off and slow down. Let's go around the other direction.